Hi, my name is Christine Short and I'm VP of Market Research at TipRanks. And today I'm here to show you how easy it is to use our price target and analyst ratings tab. So I'm gonna start off just by sharing my screen with you. You can see I've already navigated to tipranks.com. Right on the home page here, I can type in the ticker of, of any company I'm interested in taking a look at. Today I'm gonna to focus on Amazon. I can also navigate to Amazon along the top here. You can see it's in our menu bar. And then once I go to the stock page, if I decide I wanna look at something else, I can come up to the search bar along the top here. So as Amazon is loading, one of the first things you'll notice is that I can take a look at the top of the page here at the current price of the stock if markets are open or the close and pre-market price if they are closed. I can quickly see analyst rating consensus. In this case, Amazon is a strong buy. The pie chart shows analyst positions over the last three months. And then of course, one of the advantages of the platform is that I'm able to focus on just the best performing Wall Street analysts. So those that consistently outperform the S&P 500. And I'm doing so by clicking this button up here. I've already selected to look at those best performing analysts. If I decide I wanna look at all analyst ratings, I can come here and click all analyst consensus and price target. But today I'm just gonna focus on best performing. So below that, I can see what the price target is. The consensus based on those 38 best performing analysts is $3,738.48. And then under that, any potential upside or downside based on that consensus. So right now, this uh, price target implies upside of 18.81%. On the right-hand side of the graph, I can see the highest, lowest, and average 12-month price targets are displayed. The graph shows you how they compare to the current price. And I can also look at price and analyst consensus going back 12 months. I'm gonna scroll down now to see how individual analysts are rating the stock. So again, I can filter by analyst performance. Uh, I've gone ahead and just selected for those that have three, four, and five star ratings. I can also filter by analyst rating, so buy, sell, hold, any potential upside or downside and what action they've taken. So have they initiated, upgraded, downgraded, reiterated, or just been assigned the stock? The table is in chronological order by date. So I can see the most recent rating was made by Anthony Chacumba at Loop Capital Markets just two days ago. I can reorder the table by clicking on any of the headers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reorder based on price target. I wanna see which analyst has the highest price target for Amazon. And I can see here that's Heath Terry at Goldman Sachs. He has a price target of 4,200. Just gonna go back uh, to reorder by date. If I wanna find out any more about the analyst, I can just hover over his name and see his success rating. So his success rate is 66% overall with an average return of 9.7%. So this is based on all ratings that he's made, not just Amazon, he's made 157 ratings. If I wanna know how he's performed just on Amazon, I can click on him, get his full profile here. I see Amazon is the last rating he issued. And that overall of his 19 ratings, he has a success rate of 89% with an average profit of 28.6%. Coming back to the stock page here, you see I can also very easily follow any analyst I'd like by clicking on the blue plus mark to the right here. And if I wanna see the specific rating and what article led us to this, you can hover over on the right here and I can see, I can click into this article or I can just see by hovering that he did upgrade his estimate uh, from 2,900 to 3,775. So as I said, this is all very easy to use, but of course, if you have any questions or comments, you can find us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook. You can also contact our support team at support at We look forward to hearing from you. Take care.